Begin first with the raccoon attacks in New Jersey. Two people have been attacked in Princeton just this week alone. Yeah, one of those incidents happened right on Princeton University's campus, and the video is racking up views online. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, oh my God! And now you know why. These attacks now prompting a warning for the public as the raccoon is believed oh to be God! rabid. New Jersey correspondent Trish Hartman is live in Princeton with the word of caution from health officials. Trish. Well, Christy Bryan, yeah, they really want people to be aware and officials say like we just saw one of the victims caught that attack on video where you can see clearly the raccoons aggressive behavior. This video shows a raccoon attacking a student on the campus of Princeton University Monday evening. Oh my God! Officials say this was a level one rabies exposure, meaning the student was bitten or scratched. She's since started treatment and students on campus were notified. It was pretty shocking, <laughs> definitely uh, very scary, uh, not the way you usually think wildlife will interact with people. While the video has made the rounds on social media, Princeton's animal control officer also saw it. The aggression that the animal showed, uh, it was making high pitched chirping noises, which is very common with with rabid raccoons that I've seen in my six years of doing this. Then on Tuesday morning around 6 a.m. Another attack was reported just off campus on Hibben Road. In this case, a raccoon was sitting on a resident's doormat just before it attacked and displayed similar behavior to the one on campus. She had to walk up some steps to get to the door and the raccoon came right at her. In this case, the resident wasn't injured. Animal control and police are keeping an eye out for the raccoon, which is presumed to be rabid. Jim Ferry says most rabid raccoons don't act like this, but this seems to be a more aggressive infection. This is when the animal is extremely agitated. Uh, the animal is going to basically charge anything that comes near it and try to bite it. We found one woman who walks Louie near the site of the second attack. She's now carrying pepper spray just in case. I'm here three times a day and I'm constantly now just always looking out for this raccoon. And officials say you definitely want to keep dogs on a leash for now. And now the only way to tell for sure if this raccoon has rabies is to catch it and test it. Officials say if you are being attacked, call 911. And they also add that because of the progression of this disease, the animal will likely be dead by the end of the week. Reporting live in Princeton, New Jersey, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News. Brian, Christine. Yeah, my goodness. Okay, Trish, thank you.